of youth. Well, let's pursue that notion. Joining us uh, via Skype, professor at the University of Liverpool, uh, Joe uh, Pedro de Megales. Uh, professor, welcome to America's Forum. Uh, tell us about the bowhead whale and its longevity. What, what can we learn and apply to, uh, to humans? Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, well, the, the bowhead whale, as far as we know, is one of the very few species that lives longer than human beings. Um, so th that makes it uh, quite exceptional. Um, and the other aspect about large whales like the bowhead is that if you think about cancer as emerging in one rogue cell, then large species of whales like, like the bowhead that have, say, over a thousand times more cells than human beings should develop a lot of cancer. Uh, in which case they wouldn't live so long, uh, but they don't uh, because they live longer than humans. So there has to be particular anti-tumor mechanisms in, in whales like the bowhead to protect them against cancer, uh, and these mechanisms are not found in humans. So our goal is, by studying the bowhead, is to try to understand why they live so long and why are they protected against age-related diseases like cancer. So what have you discovered so far? Well, we discovered um, a few genes that are have specific changes or particular differences in the bowhead whale when compared to all other an mammals, uh, including humans. Um, and some of these genes are related to longevity and, and cancer, or we know they play some sort of role in longevity and cancer, um, which indicates that they may be important in the longevity and disease resistance of the bowhead whale. Now, of course, we cannot do experiments directly in the bowhead whale uh, to test the role of these genes. Um, and so, it's difficult to know for sure what their impact is going to be. But what we have is we have these candidate genes that now we can go to study in cells or even in mice to assess their true potential uh, in terms of protective against aging and disease. So you, you talk about the genetic factors with a bowhead whale, but, but what about its environment, where, where it lives in comparatively cool waters or frigid waters in, in uh, the Arctic? Uh, does that have any bearing whatsoever? Um, it is a possibility for sure. We, we do know that uh, animals, um, that temperature has a relationship to longevity, and this has been demonstrated in mortal organisms. Uh, it's also observed, for instance, in the naked mole rat, which is this underground long-lived uh, rodent uh, that all has a, a low body temperature. Um, so we don't know for, a, for sure whether um, its environment um, or how much of an impact it has on its longevity, but I would say it's very likely that it also plays a, a role. I would say probably both environmental and genetic factors play a role in the longevity of the bowhead whale, a bit like it happens in human beings, in which there's both genetic factors and environmental factors. As a scientist, what would be the ideal scenario for you to study? Um, I think the ideal scenario uh, would be to, to have um, a lot of candidate um, genes and mechanisms from this exceptionally long-lived species um, that we can then test in human cells, that we can then test in human cancer cells, and that we can test in mice. So, in other words, actually take some of the genes from the bowhead whale and put it in mice uh, and see if these mice live longer and are protected from diseases. Um, because if that happens, then we can then try to develop applications, for example, by targeting pharmacologically, um, or maybe even by uh, gene therapy, in which we can apply the knowledge from this exceptionally long-lived species to improve human health and human life. Sounds like a promising uh, area of yeah. research. Professor, thank you so much for your time, and we'll continue to follow it. Now, something else before we part company, we hope you've been following, our poll question. Do you believe President Obama is handling the threat of Islamic terror properly. We want to hear from you. To vote in the poll, go to Newsmax.com slash poll. Coming up next, Midpoint. We'll be back tomorrow. Stay brave, stay free.